Hello everyone. The regularization is one of the method which is used to prevent the model from overfitting by adding extra information that is training samples or extra features into the training data set. So it is maintaining all the features or variables in the model by reducing the magnitude of the variables for improving the performance of the training process. So when you are uh, improving the performance we can make that model as a generalized model by uh, adding the penalty term to the loss function during the training phase. So that uh, this penalty is regularizing the model from becoming uh, too complex or uh, reducing the coefficient that means weight parameters of the uh, respective uh, features towards zero. So here when you are applying that um, uh, reducing reduce of uh, decrease of that coefficient values which is reducing the magnitude of the features to fit nice in the training data. So when uh, it is overfitting is happened, uh, the what is the impact of the training model? So here you look at that when you are uh, when that overfitting will be happen. So here. Uh, whenever you are training the model with the training data set, initially error is available here. Then when you are increasing the number of iterations, you look at that, the, it is uh, learning the patterns uh, from the training data set is step by step slowly, then it is reaching the lower error. So initially the cost is uh, very high. In this point, it may be 0 0.8, then almost it reaches the 0 0.8. So, it uh, reaches the uh, error um, uh, close to the uh, zero. So, this is best for uh, best model uh, uh, using the training phase. But when you are testing that same data set with different uh, data, okay, uh, same same model training uh, testing the model by using the different test data set, initially error is available here, then step by step it is decreasing but after reaching this point uh, it is again increasing so the same number of iterations what we have used for the training data set uh, the same number of iteration is making higher error you look at that this error is almost you look at that it may be 0 0.6 okay the difference between 0 0.1 and 0 0.6 is here higher 0 0.5 difference so there is much much difference between the uh, training error and the testing error. So this is called variance. So high variance between the training error and the testing error. So uh, whenever you are having like this, you look at that here the uh, pattern this graph is showing this uh, uh, model is overfitting. So you look at that it is learning perfectly on the training data set okay perfectly on the training data set this curve is showing all the data pet points perfectly learned and uh, identify the patterns by the model but when you are uh, using the test data set it will not classified or uh, perf uh, find the regression value perfectly so so this is the uh, situation uh, we are identifying the overfitting by using the data set so when we are getting the overfitting so that means high variance between the training error and the testing error so we can say the model is uh, uh, performing well over the training data set but it does not perform well over the testing data set so this is the case the overfitting is uh, appeared uh, over the uh, model due to the high variance and low bias that means training error is less that indicates the low bias testing error is high that indicates the high variance so in this case uh, when you are increasing the training sample size it decreases the training error but it uh, fails to decrease the test error so uh, that is the issue here so uh, we can we, in this situation we are in need of regularization so this is the regression uh, 
uh, algorithm for uh, over, uh, identifying the overfitting. So here the regression line. So this is the regression line which is uh, identifying, I mean learning the uh, patterns perfectly over the uh, training data set and this is giving you the number of samples are increasing uh, which is giving you less training error. Uh, here you look at that the training error is here almost close to the uh, 0. So it is 0 0.1 maybe. So 0 0.2 etc. Here 0 0.9 then it will come 1. So the testing error is very high training error is low the, this is provide you high variance like that when you are using the classification so there also you look at that the classification data also giving you overfitting you look at that this line this line is indicating perfectly classifying the given data set so this line is okay this uh, this classification boundary is perfectly learning the all data points there is no even single data point misclassified okay there is no even single data misclassified so perfectly classified the training data so but when you are uh, using that uh, uh, testing data so you are going to get the error here so it may be misclassified uh, right so if you are using the data here it might be misclassified so here the data distribution is uh, represented here the learning curve for this overfitting is given here so this situation demands to uh, reduce the overfitting by applying the regularization methods. So there is uh, so many regularization methods. One is L1 regularization, L2 regularization and dropout, early stopping and augmentation. So these are all the algorithms we can use to reduce the or avoid the overfitting uh, during the uh, training and testing of the model. So this will improve the model's performance by avoiding overfitting. Thanks for watching.